Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Democrat leader sparks liberal civil war on live TV, dooms their 2018 chances. It seems that the plan for America, at least amongst the progressive leftist radicals amongst us, is to turn America into the image of communist red China. Many have begun to take notice of the pattern of increasingly savage and even aggressive rhetoric, as well as the escalating physical violence directed at President Donald Trump, his supporters, the Trump administration, Republican leadership, as well as those that adhere to a conservative or right-leaning ideology. If you know anything about history and the rise of communism in any country, this is a classic communist tactic commonly used in an effort to publicly shame those that are perceived to be a threat to the communist regime's agenda. Note the current climate in America, the bullying and physical attacks in the streets, businesses, and even private homes, death threats spewed routinely on social media and at public events against members of the Trump administration and their families, where even children are not off-limits, the destruction of property, and just flat-out mayhem. Behold the current incarnation of the Democratic Party in America. It is virtually indistinguishable from the Communist Party of old, yet it is known as the Party of Diversity, the Party of Inclusion, the Party of Tolerance, at least that is what their marketing would have you to believe. Remember Michelle Obama's when they go low, we go high? Yeah, nobody else does either because, despite the plethora of words, actions do speak much louder. In 2018, the Democratic Party, furious that President Trump was elected in the first place, and their misbegotten and diabolical plots to bring down the Trump administration are failing to produce the end result of their choosing. As a result, it seems some have decided vigilante justice might be a better approach. Enter Rep. Maxine Waters, CAD, and her calls for an all-out war on President Trump and his supporters. Waters has won over a whole new generation of adoring millennials in the Trump era who have rechristened the Los Angeles Democrat as the resistance hero Andy Maxine. The current generation of millennials by and large that would prefer to live in a socialist, communist or fascist nation rather than a capitalistic one. The Washington Examiner reports Dash in the Victims of Communism Memorial Foundation's annual report on U.S. attitudes toward socialism, 58% of the up-and-coming generation opted for one of the three systems, compared to 42% who said they were in favor of capitalism. The most popular socioeconomic order was socialism, with 44% support. Communism and fascism received 7% support each. Marion Smith, executive director of the Victims of Communism Memorial Foundation, said the report shows millennials are increasingly turning away from capitalism and toward socialism and even communism as a viable alternative. This troubling turn highlights widespread historical illiteracy in American society regarding socialism and the systemic failure of our education system to teach students about the genocide, destruction, and misery caused by communism since the Bolshevik Revolution 100 years ago, Mr. Smith said in a statement. With her constant calls for the impeachment of President Trump and her recent calls urging Democrats to publicly challenge members of the Trump administration when they see them in public, it seems Waters is trotting right along with following the communist agenda. If you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd and you push back on them and you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere, Waters said at a rally of her supporters in Los Angeles. Her dog determination to seek violent revolution in this country as a means to ouster a duly elected president is making even members of her own party nervous. Waters appeared on Joy Reid's weekend morning news program on MSNBC. AM Joy and Waters used that opportunity to call for even more violent rhetoric as she drew public criticism even from colleagues in her own party. Waters stated that in response to her earlier calls for violence against members of the Trump administration and his supporters that she was forced to cancel two public events because of a serious death threat she received. She then stated on Saturday at an immigration rally that anybody who attempts to hurt her better shoot straight. I know that there are those who are talking about censuring me, talking about kicking me out of Congress, talking about shooting me, talking about hanging me," Waters told the crowd in Los Angeles. All I have to say is this, if you shoot me you better shoot straight. There's nothing like a wounded animal. Waters also expressed surprise that members of her own party would turn on her and publicly criticize her, claiming they are intimidated by President Trump. You know, I was surprised that Chuck Schumer, you know, reached into the other house to do that. I've not quite seen that done before. But one of the things I recognize, being an elected official, is in the final analysis, you know, leadership will do anything that they think is necessary to protect their leadership. I think they're still intimidated by him, they are afraid of him, they don't have any guts and they are going to pay a price for this. 
In the time leading up to the midterm elections in November 2018, this circle of hostility is only going to grow. It seems that Waters and her ideological supporters should be careful in fanning the flames of violent revolution as she is fanning the flames of something volatile and dangerous. If they are not careful, the flames will soon burn out of control and it will not only be their ideological foes that are harmed. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.